In this video, you'll see how you can enforce preventive guardrails using Service Control Policies, or SCPs. With this feature of AWS organizations, you can centrally manage permissions to enforce security guidelines while allowing builder teams to safely innovate with AWS services. Let's begin in the AWS Organizations Management Console. Here we can see the hierarchy structure of the root organization. It has two organizational units, or OUs, security and workloads, and two accounts. Nested within the security OU is the prod OU, with two accounts below it. As an administrator, you can apply SCPs to the root organization, one or more OUs, or even particular accounts. Let's go to Policies to define some SCPs. First, we'll need to enable service control policies for our organization. By default, the SCP creates a full access policy. This means that all actions and resources are available to the root organization. Now let's create a new SCP that prevents the disabling of required security services. We'll provide a policy name and description. We have the option to apply tags to resources. We won't do that now. From here, we can select AWS services and specific actions for those services, and the policy code to the left populates automatically. We can also add a resource or condition. We can also supply our own written code. Let's remove this statement. We'll paste in some code we've written that denies the ability to disable or disassociate a host of actions across different AWS security services. In these lines of code, we've disabled several actions in AWS Security Hub. With the rest of the policy, we've applied restrictions for Amazon Guard Duty and Detective and AWS Config and CloudTrail. Let's create the policy. Now that the policy is created, we can attach it to the necessary hierarchy levels of our organization. If we attach the policy to an OU, all the nested OUs and accounts beneath it will inherit the policy. For our purposes, we'll apply the policy directly to an account. Once we attach the policy, we can review its content and targets. Let's return to the AWS Accounts page. Let's view the account we just applied our SCP to. On the Policies tab, we can see both the default SCP and the Security Guardrails policy we just created and attached to this account. Now let's switch to the account we attached to the SCP to. From this member account within the organization in a non-administrative role, Let's navigate to AWS Security Hub to see what happens when we try to perform actions restricted by the SCP. We'll go into the general settings. Let's try to disable AWS Security Hub. As you can see, we've received a permissions error because the SCP denies our ability to disable AWS Security Hub. Now let's visit the AWS Config settings. Let's try to disable recording. Again, we've encountered an error message because the SCP prohibits us from performing this action. You've just seen how you can enforce preventive guardrails using service control policies. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.